guys and welcome to another video. This is my April favourites. I often vlog my favourites over on my blog daisychainsdreamers.com but I decided that I was going to do a video this time. I think it's nicer to do a video because when I write my favourites blog posts they end up getting really long and I don't know about you but I can't be bothered to read like a really really long blog post so I've got some little bits I've picked out here which have been my favourites over April. When I say favourites, it's a mixture of stuff, so there's some beauty, some food items, some clothing, it's a right mix. It's just the stuff that I've been using or eating a lot over April um, and I wanted to share it with you. First up is a hair product. I don't often vlog about hair products, which is weird because I've got long hair and I really look after my hair, but I just don't spend as much money on hair care as I do makeup and skincare, which I've got a bit of an addiction about. Um, but one item I picked up recently was the Phyto, okay, if you're French you have to correct me on my pronunciation, but it's the Phyto Express Conditioner, Phyto Balm, I want to say, or Balm, to say it in a French accent it might sound better. Um, this was a bit of a spontaneous purchase, but a great one. I was shopping on Space NK's website, I think it was Space NK, it was Space NK or Feel Unique. I'll leave it below. Um, and if you spend over a certain amount, you've got free postage packaging. And I thought, why not? Let's get something else. And this was recommended. I get quite dry hair since I coloured it. And this um, conditioner literally is incredible. It conditions my hair so well. And what I love most about it is that it's an express conditioner. When I wash my hair, because it's long, I end up spending ages in the shower, leaving my conditioner on and waiting for it to kind of work into my hair which can take like 10 minutes sometimes this you literally put on and wash off sometimes i leave it for like a minute while i go to like shave my legs or something um but it's so good i would really recommend this it's also i think my first like french pharmacy purchase i know a lot of the bloggers like rave about french pharmacy products um but this one you can get online here uh in the uk so check it out it looks like this. It was about £14-15. Pounds. Um, I think I also had a Feel Unique discount code which is something like 15-20% off so this is a real bargain and I'll be using this a lot. Next let's move on to skincare. This product might look familiar to you from one of my previous videos but it's not. It's different. It just looks identical. And that is the Kane and Austin pads. Now the ones I showed you before were the Acne acne treatment pads. These ones are the retexturizing pads. Because I loved the other ones so so much, I decided to try the retexturizing ones. So these ones have 10% glycolic acid, whereas the other ones have salicy salicylic acid and glycolic. Uh, this one's 10%, so I think it's maybe it's maybe a little bit stronger. This is for resurfacing your face. So after using the other ones, it really did clear up my spots really really well. And I purchased this to try and smooth out my skin, get rid of some of the scars, and it really has worked. Um, my skin is smoother and just more flawless than it ever has been. Uh, I feel like I maybe wouldn't have liked these if I hadn't tried the salicylic ones first, the acne treatment ones. Um, because I think my skin would have been too sensitive to try these, but now it's built up, I don't know, built up strength maybe <laughs> from using them for about three months. It was time for these. They aren't the cheapest products, but they're just so good and my skincare routine would not be without these. Another skincare product. Now this is from a brand that I've known for a while that I have had a really good experience with. It's not a brand that's out there much, it's not the most familiar of brands but I'm sure it's going to be pretty soon because it's just so good. And I first discovered this brand because I love honey. I sweeten it so much stuff with honey. Um, and Manuka honey was something I'd have a lot of. Um, I used to get it from Holland and Barrett but Manuka Doctor have brought out a skincare range. I say brought out, it's been out for ages and ages, but it's something that I've just become accustomed to. And I've been loving their facial oil, their normalising facial oil. So this is for someone who has really greasy skin. I did have greasy skin from my change of skincare um, routine, which I vlogged about, and again I will leave a link below about how I cleared up my skin. And this has done amazing things. This hasn't just like moisturised my face, and I think this has even cleared my spots by 
getting rid of those dead skin cells, making my skin fresh and providing like an amazing base for makeup. But I've been able to combat the extra greasiness I get. So this oil is definitely a must have if you haven't tried oils before. If you're looking at something which is cost effective, because some oils can be really expensive, this is decent value for money. And honestly, this is the best oil I've ever had. I don't know whether it's because it's all natural. It has so many great ingredients in. Let me read some of them out to you find it. Oh, jojoba oil, marula oil, argan oil, rosehip oil, manuka oil, obviously. And it's the power of bees, you know, power of honey. Everyone knows how amazing honey is and what it can do for you, like inside and out. So get some of this. The next product is the Eve Lom Rescue Mask. Now, I never really used to use face masks. I thought it'd be good to add one to my weekly routine, mainly because I'd get lots of those really tiny under the surface spots, which never really came to a head. And this, because it's got clay in it, really gives you a deep cleanse, which combats all of that, and I have seen a really good improvement. It's about 28 pounds, I think, this, this the smaller size, but literally a little goes a long way. I use it once a week and I've still got loads left in here, so it's a worthwhile purchase. I really love it. It smells kind of minty. It's really strong, but not like horrible strong. You can feel it working. Um, a trick with this, which I had to do a little bit of research online to find out, when you've left it for 20 minutes, don't get water and wash it off your face get a dry flannel and buff it off and that gets rid of all the dead skin cells. Be gentle, don't be like like sandpapering your skin because that's not good, but just gently buffering off and it just leaves your skin looking so clean and fresh and younger, I guess. And we all could do with a bit of that. I'm only in my 20s, but you know, it's a good time to start. Next up, my favourites for April is a makeup item and it's a MAC product, surprise surprise, I love MAC. Um, I bought this from Vista Village in Oxford. It's a big outlet shopping centre, which is literally incredible. They've got all the designer shops, they've got Gucci, Jimmy, you can get Jimmy Choo shoes for like £100. It's insane, like go there if you're in the area. And if you're not, do a road trip and visit because it's just one of the best outlet shopping, outlet shopping, outlets, outlet shopping centres you know what I mean, I've ever been to. Um, and there's a beauty shop there, and you can get lots of skincare and makeup, and that's where I got this palette. Um, it's called uh, the Pink Freeze Eyeshadow Palette, and this cost me like 16 pounds, I think it was like 16, 20 pounds, which would have been far more expensive than MAC, so go there and stock up on all your beauty products because you save yourself an absolute fortune. So that's all my makeup and skincare favourites for this month. I now have a few slightly different items. Um, I've been trying to get into my fitness, not only because I'm getting married next year. Um, check out my wedding diary posts on my blog. I'll leave a link. Um, shameless publicity. Um, it's also summer and we all want to feel comfortable in bikini so I've been changing my routine a little bit, trying to eat a bit healthier, I've been getting in the gym, I'm working out more and there's a few items I wanted to share with you that I've just been enjoying over the past month. First is a bit of a strange one but I'm pretty sure every person loves this. Guess what it is? It's popcorn. Um, I love popcorn. I think I've got a bit like obsessed with popcorn. I eat this so much. If I'm not buying packs of popcorn, I love proper corn. I didn't have any to show you today because I've eaten them all. Um, but it's, I think it's quite a new brand to the market and you can get sweet and salty, um, salty, you can get a coconut one and they are just so good. Um, but if I don't have one of those packs in the cupboard, I will pop my own corn. It's not got anything else in it, it hasn't got the extra butter or sugar that you can sometimes get when you buy a um, ready-made like butter kissed ones that are just covered in sugar and um, you can just add a little bit of salt on top you can get really creative with your, with your seasonings and put chilli all sorts whatever flavours you like just go for it you put well I put half a cup of this and that does two portions or if I'm feeling greedy one big portion in a pan put the lid on a little bit of oil or like a low calorie oil cooking spray and just keep shaking it around until they start popping I keep my popcorn in a kilner jar because it's pretty and I have a whole load of these lined up across my kitchen. Half of them have got baking goods and like flour and sugar but I keep my kernels in here to keep them nice and fresh. 
Next up, still on the same fitness path, is a new top I picked up from TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx for workout wear. You can get everything so, so cheap, and usually the quality is really good. There's some pretty good brands. This top is from, it's not a brand I'm familiar with, um, Climaware. And it looks like this, and it's just such a pretty pink purple colour. Um, it's got a really nice back, so it goes down the middle. I'm not someone that can wear um, gym kit without a sports bra. I wear like a really tight crop top, just to hold everything in. Um, so you will kind of get the crop top lines at the back, um, but I just love a bit of colour in the gym. I think my other half thinks I'm silly, he says I dress up for the gym, which I don't, but why would I want to wear a sweaty old top that's been in my cupboard for like 10 years when I could wear something nice and it's going to encourage me to work out. Finally, on the fitness part of my favourites, I'm going to show you an app. This is very strange for me, I don't really blog about technology, well I never blog about technology, but this app has been friggin amazing. Let me try and get to the home screen. I don't know if I can. But it's called NutriCheck, and you might be familiar with it. It's a calorie counter. Now, it's very easy to become obsessed with counting calories, and that's not the be all and end all of weight loss and fitness. I keep this as more as a food diary. But NutriCheck, literally, you put in any product, it can be if you aren't tired for half stuff for lunch of the day, and it's got all the half dinners in here, it's got everything. You put in what you weigh, the quantities, it will tell you the calories and the amount of fat. Um, you can save, thing, save recipes, you put in how much exercise you've done during the day, how much water you've drunk, and it literally records it all on here and adds up your totals. And it stops all that faffing about of trying to work out how many calories and what, look in the back of packets, trying to do maths, you know, it's not everyone's strong point. Um, but I love this. You can put it into breakfast, lunch and dinner. It can track your weight loss. Um, and you can keep looking at your calories from the week. So yesterday, for instance, I had porridge for breakfast per usual. What did I say? I had, oh, I had a barbecue. So I was a little bit naughty yesterday. But it's just nice to keep track of what you're eating. I think when we're conscious about what we're putting in our bodies, we're just naturally going to be healthier. Uh, it's very easy just to snack and just eat whatever's there in front of you and then when it comes to actually looking at what you've eaten throughout the day you're like crap I think I've probably eaten a lot of the wrong kind of things today so NutriCheck it is free to do a trial but after seven days you have to pay I think it's like £3.99 a month but it's definitely worth it because it saves you so many hours like if you do like to count calories and count count what you're putting in like proteins and fats and sugars it's brilliant and finally, one more item on my April favourites, and that's a pair of shoes. And they are these really cute little white, they're called Daisy Street, and I got them from ASOS. They're Mary Janes, I guess, but flat ones. They are plastic, so, you know, they're not going to last forever. I preferably try and get leather shoes, but sometimes, if they're cheap, then pfft. I'm just going to get an old plastic pair if I love them. And these look so cute with little dresses, with little summer shorts, with jeans. I've been wearing them loads. And they're just they're so pretty. They're really cute and I love my cutesy kind of little outfits and it, these really complement them. And I think they were like £16. And they came in the cutest little shoe box. It was really sweet. I'm going to have to look up this brand and see what else they've got. So that's it for my April favourites. I hope this is a bit more exciting than just reading a blog post. But some of these beauty products specifically, I do want to give more of an in-depth look into them. And I think I'm going to probably blog about some of them. So watch this space um, and I keep checking back on my blog. If I do write about them and review them properly, I will put a link in here later on so you can read everything you want to know about the products because with these kind of videos you could end up talking for hours and i want to do more of a whistle stop tour through the products i've been loving this month thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to subscribe and i'll see you soon first oh right Come on. i am talking so much and that's where I got this. Oh my god, the light. Is there anything you do? No. Do you mean these buckles? Nothing.